the Centro Estudiano de Tampa is really a historically significant theater in Tampa and in Florida. It becomes really remarkable that the Centro Estudiano de Tampa is still an operating theater established in 1914. You could probably indisputably say that it's the oldest operating theater in the state of Florida. It's often overlooked when you think of theaters because it's a club. And within that club, you find this beautiful neoclassical example of architecture from a bygone era. You won't find another theater like this. Few can walk into a place like this today and take something in this significant. So this theater is packed full of history and generations that have walked through the doors. And it's one of the things that's drawn me to continue to celebrate my family heritage when I walk through these doors. Tampa is so unique in that it's got a long history. Lots of people think of Florida and they think of beaches and new builds and that sort of thing. And, and what Tampa has to offer is a hundred plus year old history and a glimpse back in time of what it could have been. What better way to tell the story of Tampa Hillsborough County than to include Centro Asturiano? You know, a historic building that's been in our community for over a hundred years, served our earliest founding fathers and mothers, our immigrants, our Spanish immigrants, found this to be their home from, we like to say, birth to the afterlife. Everything was provided in this beautiful facility for them from healthcare to social entertainment. Uh, you name all the services that you would need uh, was found here and it helped to build our community. It helped to provide a place for connection, for those that are coming from another country to connect in a different country and to start their lives again. So it's critically important that we support the restoration and the preservation of this building because without this building, we can't tell the Tampa story the right way. We tell the story through our history, through our people and through their contributions. And certainly restoring this building uh, is critically important. The architect of this theater M. Leo Elliott was renowned in the early 1900s in this area for what he built and what he created. If you look at Tampa City Hall in downtown Tampa, that was M. Leo Elliott. If you look at the Cuban Club in Ybor City, the Italian Club in Ybor City, those two were by the same architect. And if you think about Temple Terrace in Tampa, he built the first buildings in Temple Terrace, so he was a fundamental contributor to some of the most historical examples of architecture in Tampa today. The uniqueness of Tampa is that you had groups of different cultures coming together and living together, and you don't see that in any other city in the United States. And so to walk into a room where you know that all cultures were welcome and to look up at the original chandelier from 1914 and think, wow, People from Spain stood here, people from Tampa stood here, people from Cuba, people from Italy, people from all over got to stand under these very chandeliers and these incredible gold moldings that just transport you in time. I want to make sure that people are able to continue to enjoy that in the next hundred years. And part of that is making sure that we continue to restore the building so that it is able to live on in its legacy. And when we do that, we want to make sure that we're paying respect to everybody who came here and who helped to build this and make it into the place that it has been for the last 114 years. This booklet is the program for the actual dedication of the building uh, on the 15th of May, 1914. And in it, it describes the stage and it describes the curtain, the proscenium curtain, the dimensions of the stage and of the light, lighting were to make everything seem cohesive and, and fit the dimensions of this particular building. You know, we've recently been researching the historical importance of this theater, and it's very important to us to keep the integrity today of what the theater looked like when it opened its doors in May of 1914. And in doing that research, we're trying to ensure that we stay true to the time period, that we stay true to the relevance and the integrity of the theater. So what we're doing to ensure that we have the very best 
group of people involved in this project to ensure that the theater is done exactly the way it needs to be done. It's gathered the most talented and most respected people in the industry to work on this project. And that's not just locally here in Tampa Bay, but it's in the country as a whole. So we're utilizing the Irwin Seating Company that oversaw the seat um, project for the Tampa Theater. We're utilizing um, a fantastic architect, uh, a project manager, a uh, general contractor, and this group is being brought together looking at the historical research that our team is trying to put together to ensure this job gets done well, gets done right. We're looking to have this completed like very aggressively at the end of the summer and our entire team is behind working to make that happen, um, barring any unforeseen challenges along the way. And you know, those come up when you're looking at a building that's um, as old and as historic as the Centro Estudiano de Tampa. But as long as things all go on track and they go well, we're hoping that by the fall, when you walk into this building, um, the experience that you have is as special as it's always been, but just in a little bit more comfortable way. There are lots of communities that have let uh, buildings like this go to ruin and they've disappeared from their cities and those cities have lost their unique personalities. And we will never let that happen here in Tampa. We will never let our personality disappear, our history, our culture. So please get involved and help in the restoration of Centro Asturiano. Our economic vitality depends on it. In terms of replacing the seats, my husband and I, uh, he was always opposed to replacing them because he thought it was a uh, historical theater. And my view on it was, yes, it's historical, but we want it to keep on being a part of history. And we want this building to keep being used. So I was always in favor of replacing these seats because we want this, the center to be a living entity, not just a shrine to the past. So we ask you, to take part in who we are and get involved in the community and in the restoration of this beautiful theater so that it's around for hundreds of years to come. And it's really about continuing the legacy of the Centro Estudiano de Tampa. This theater is a small part of it, but it's huge in our hearts. And we hope you find it as important, significant, and relevant as we do for many generations to come. Thank you.